Mm -mm. Is this thing on? Hello? We, I'm going to be loud. I am going to be loud. It is 1 a.m. here. Don't worry, strong cold, everybody. Welcome back. And we're going to be loud. We were back. We're back. I feel like a broken record with the amount of we're backs that we're getting. But we're back, I think, for real here. Okay. Hope everybody's doing well. It is I, Unseen Strike. Happy to be here. Let me tell you. Um, holiday season is done. We're done. We're free. We're free. We don't have to see anybody no more. We're no obligations. We don't got to go sing at Christmas trees and count balls dropping. And Oh, my God. We're done. Beautiful. I don't know about anybody else. It's a pretty, it's a busy time of year. Um, and we're done. We're done. We're free. We're back. And we're going to try and get back on schedule here. Again, the goal is a video every single day. And on top of that, a short every single day. That's the goal, the plan, the dream, the myth, the legend. All right. We're going to load right in. I moved the microphone even closer into my mouth. So if I sound louder tonight, good. You're right here with me. Hello. Good to see you. Here we go. We're going to hop right on in here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Give me something good. I, I need to see a battle. I need to see a battle. I haven't heard any kind of bolter fire. I haven't heard orcs screaming. I have not heard Jack in so long. What do we got here? Oh, Lordy. Meeting of minds. We've got Master Yoda and Qbeeb. Here we go. Okay. I, you, 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 there's a guaranteed battle here, so I'm okay with it. Um, anyway, it's fantastic. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, no, we're good. We're good. Perfect. We can, we can even shrink it down a little bit. Do we want a new photo? Let, let's get a new photo. Mid, mid cast. What is this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Carl. Uh. What if we, uh, what if we do this? Hold on. Not, shit, shite. That's okay. Technically, the game isn't started. We're not spoiling anything. Damn, why is Carl so huge, bro? Right there. Per Perfect. <laughs> okay, where were we? Let's get the fog of war off. All right, here we go. In the south, uh, in the west, we've got Master Yoda here. Uh, playing the stinky orcs. I, it looks like Shrek. Shrek is coming out of the jungle here. Boy hut. Generator. Nice random. I'm assuming we're going to see something nice across the way. Eldar. Crack world. I don't talk. Going for aspect and gen. Let's see here. I'd, I would love... Oh! Oh my. Triple guardians. I do like this opening. Um, I would prefer two Guardians into a Ranger into Farseer. He's going Farseer here, so he's going to guard. Farseer is going to support these Guardians really nicely. Let's see if we can get there's Fleet of Foot, maybe a Warlock upgrade, maybe Plasma Grenades. Uh, Guardians upgrade very well into early Tier 2. Uh, and they let you, as the LR, save a lot of that juicy power for your vehicles, for your teching. Uh, maybe you do a switch into uh, dragons and warp spiders. Uh, I mean, what am I saying? Maybe. Uh, yeah, that's generally what's going to happen. Maybe some kind of vehicle play. You've got the power to do so. The guardians are relatively cheap at 30. Yeah, they're squishy as heck. But these warlocks pack a punch. They can wraith tomb units. They can throw grenades. The emboldened ability, I forget what it's called. It does all the time, but it increases morale. And I think it reduces rain damage. Uh, big mech coming out. He's ready to go. Very excited to see here. And the Farseer trades okay with the Big Mac. Just okay. You get a mine war off, you need to go. You gotta flee. Unless there's some Guardian shooting. I wanna go over here. I wanna hear what she's talking about today. I knew you would have need of me. Oh yeah. Probably again, I used to main Eldar long ago. Um is she crouching in the in the trees? I don't know if I've really noticed that. Interesting. Anyway, craft world all, all, all talk. I believe that's the sword wind. Are they the jet bike craft world? Swooping hawks, maybe. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so there's that plasma grenade. Fleet of foot done. There's the mind war going off. And good, good. Flee. Just flee. It's free damage. Free damage. Orc, big mech teleports up. This is sloppy. You don't want to see this. 
Uh, Master Yoda coming in. He knows. Sluggers are coming down south side of this map. Uh, meeting mines, by the way. We'll talk about it real quick. Triple crit locations going across the uh, spine of the map. Uh, double thermoplasma generator locations. And this is where it's deadly with these Eldar. If he can get one more Guardian squad here, those shurikens. I got a new keyboard. Does anybody know? Uh, I gotta, I guess, up the key speed. Like, if I hold... Psychic Storm goes off as well. If I hold my down key, it doesn't, like, immediately go. Is that... That's key press speed? On the Razor, there was a cool little dashboard. I, this is, like, some weird keyboard. I don't know if anybody saw the last video. I don't know if it has... It's gotta have it. If not, I think it's a Windows ability. There was the plasma grenade. It looked more like a frag grenade. I remember it used to have, like, a glowy effect. I don't remember it looking so angry. And this is crazy. Orcs on the back foot here. And again, this is that power of that grenade on double squads here. I'd love to see Fleet of Foot removed, and I would love to see a Warlock on both these squads. Uh, really fearless. But again, the economy in the Eldar is currently broke. He's going double generators here. A little risky, uh, but he's got the Eco to back it up on 8010. Let's check the Orc Eco real quick. Orc Eco's on 9710, 104. Orc understands the point of this map. There's plenty of Eco. You want to make sure you're on top of these crit locations. You want to make sure you've got a strong defensive line here on the back. This is a great map to harass people. You can jump right over the base, destroy an LP, take a generator. Uh, over here, this is very juicy if you come over here and destroy all this. So, Eldar Eco hurting a little bit more upgrades, but there's also more gens for the Eldar. Orc getting second gen now. Gens aren't as important for the Orc. If you're seeing triple gens on an Orc, you're going to see vehicles. If they know what they're doing, uh, Orcs don't need as much power. They need more wreck. They need to be spent in wreck buying wah banners, such like that. Uh, free slugger squad here. The uh, Eldar plays its cards, right? Let's go ahead and zoom in and see. Big Mac teleported to where? He teleported forward. And he's up here again. He's keeping this relic not capped for the Eldar. And not only is this huge... The relic is not being capped right now. It's a big deal because it takes so long to cap. I'm in the mind. Nice grenade. Beautiful. Look at the damage across all these models here. Farseer getting some amazing DPS. Uh, uh, ellipse uh, brackets. Orc T2 is fast. Is the Orc Tier 2? Almost. But look at all of this Eldar here. There's a lot of DPS going down on the armor. You got to be real careful here. If he loses this big mech, he's in bad shape. Guide goes down. He needs to get these Guardians feet planted. And I would love to see a Warlock. Where are they? He needs to kill this big mech right now. He knows he's in bad shape. There's see, Now, this squad's going to be capping that relic for another 45 seconds at least. That's an eternity in this game. Look at all these low health models. There we go. One, two... They're not shooting at the right models. Orcs can garrison LPs, fun fact. Orcs taking the mid-LP right now. And look at this. Orcs already have their vehicles coming up. This is the war truck ready to go. But Eldar is now going tier 2. Quap, Bone Singers ready to go. This crit location still isn't taken. This is a running firefight in the mid. He needs to now do damage. But you can't go this way now. The Big Mac uh, vehicle depot does huge DPS. I'm pretty sure it's a quad bolter turret. Yeah, look at him. Look at him. Look at him up here. Oh, yeah, let's get lucky. He could shit in this fan, and the, the mechs inside will be like, what's going on? Who's doing that? And apparently the, the observers are saying he didn't see the mech shop. The observer's helping us out here today. He did not, but he definitely knows it's there now. The orc also got the cult of speed. Does he have an, uh, a pile of guns? He doesn't yet. Eldar is relatively powerless, and the war truck does a decent 100 DPS. Already took down one Guardian. Guardians are paper mache on walking legs. You gotta be careful. This Soul Shrine is still forever and far away. 11640 to 10930. And look at this jet. Now Storm Boys. I really like this. Still keeping this relic out of Eldar hands. I, if I was the Eldar at this point, I would just run a, this squad over here to capture the crit location. You, you're wasting so much time here. Your eco's hurt. Uh, just upgrade another LP, a secondary LP, and it looks like he's pretty much got them all. And here comes the support portal. I would love to see... Okay, there's fire dragons. I'd love to see a turret down here. I, I, I didn't watch this, I swear. Uh, and I'd love to see some mines right here, right here. He's behind now. War trucks aren't the scariest against buildings, but this tur turret upgraded with anti-vehicle would help, and obviously he knows there's storm boys. Some mines would be fantastic, and who doesn't love a good minefield? Oh, who does not love mines? So first fire dragon's coming out. It's getting in uh, enhanced armor. Orcs, on the other hand, getting more DACA. Blastier is really cheap uh, at 125. I mean, that's not too cheap. Again, orcs want their wreck. So Eldar have about 200 power in the bag. I believe another generator was cooking, or almost cooking. He's going to have 300 here. There's a Falcon. The Falcon will pull him out of this fire. He needs to tank a little with the Farseer. Let's see how he does. 
Very sloppy. That Bone Seeker did not need to be there. Farsi is already taking chunk damage. Drop the, the Mind War and run. Not even going to do it. Oh, he's doing it? He's not doing it. Mind War? Mind War. Beautiful. Just get out. Get out. You're good. Just good. You're good. Falcon come in and safely engage both of this. There's no AV yet. Tank bosses aren't here yet. He needs to kill one of these War Trucks to stay in the game. He's microing really nicely. These tank busters are coming. Triple war trucks now. The Brightland's not firing on the right location. Very sad when that happens. Eldar is capped right now. He's, he needs to get another webway gate. And I think he's saving up to go tier 3 really quickly. I don't think this is the right call. In come the rockets from the first tank buster salvo. And this Falcon's time is up. Where is one of those warlocks? They are a detector. Maybe we're going to see a Harlequin. Harlequin's going to get shot down with triple war trucks. What, what were you shooting at, Mr. Brightland? What did you see? Meanwhile, across the board, knobs are here. This is the win condition for the orcs. If the knobs can just walk in here and beat the living crowd out of the Eldar, it's over. Now, Eldar still have a chance here. He just got his webway gate. He's getting a Wraith Lord. I am not okay with the Wraith Lord choice. I think a second Falcon would have been the way, and then you juggle. A lot more micro that way, but you have to know knobs are coming versus orcs. And the war truck numbers aren't going down very much. They're pretty beat up, but there's little Gretchens here. You know, they're they're done shitting in the fans. And look at that point blank salvo. Stayed its course here. And all that for one war truck. He's not firing on the damage one. The Eldar armor upgrade, is it done? I believe it just finished, but look at how much damage they take. Double trees out, so these wood elves are ready to go. Love to see double bright lances here. I mean, I don't think warp spiders are gonna save you right now. And look at this, he did upgrade it, but where is the minefield? Needed the minefield so desperately. And again, this is where a guardian warlock right here would trap this orc uh, horde. And I don't, I believe the orc Big Mac teleported in. The warlock can lock down that unit. Slug is just being used to kind of just lay everything. Bright lances are up. Bright lances on Wraith Lords are disgustingly overpowered. Look at that, that was a good 15% chunk, but meanwhile, Orcs over here. Looks like they killed the Guardian squad. They're capping that. Relic was never capped. Knobs just going ham and baloney sandwiches over there. And look at the LPs falling. The Eldar on. <clears throat> Their back foot is not good. Is this the Harlequin? It's another Bone Singer. I personally, I think Warp Spiders are trapped. 240 60 for a squad is crazy. Crazy expensive for what you're getting. Uh, I don't think they start doing enough damage to pay for themselves until you get that second ranged upgrade. This is personal antidote here. Uh, but these trees need support. They need support. Maybe a Dark Reaper squad here. They're a little bit cheaper at 210. Apparently Q never gives up. Good for him. I respect that. I would love a Warlock here or a Harlequin. He could pick these tank buses off right now. I want to switch to the Orc. How many tank buses he got floating around? They're all gone. I lied. Custom Field came in there. Orc upgrading more LPs. 154.70 to 6866. Harlequin here. Big Na Big Mac teleports in. Double Bright Lances ain't gonna do it. Big Mac shoots a big zappy bolt. And a lone Harlequin. Kiss. Harlequin's kiss gets denied by the Big Mac elbow. I wanna see her land the big one. She died again. Wow. That's your anti-melee unit for Eldar, your anti-melee sub-commander. She just got rocked. Now, again, we've got Warp Spider numbers here. It looks like a tree was already felled by the sweaty lumberjack company, Tank Buster 1. And here we go. Again, Warp Spiders do great damage. I, they just, I don't think they're enough. I do not think they can do it here. What are they firing at? More Tank Busters. Okay. All right, Wraith Lord running in. I love that this Eldar player is not giving up offensive teleport forward. Uh, these are knobs, though. They're not going to die as easily as you think. He, this is the need to go. They need to go so bad. Would have been nice. Looks like that knob was trapped. The warp spiders were telling him, you need to sit here or pay the troll toll. Here comes a, an annoying squad of stormers, and he wastes a teleport to get here. I don't think that's the move. This is just a distraction. Those teleports are worth everything. And there goes another tree left alone. This is where that teleport was a little, a little weird for me. And what's he getting? Doesn't look like anything. Not that much float, though. I'll give the other. Oh, well, I'm on the orc. Yeah, yeah, not that much float from the Eldar. Another Harlequin coming out. And this looks like the end of days. Orcs can just come in here, bully him up. Give me a nice melee blob, a nice last stand. Uh, apparently, the warp spiders warp in the warp for a, 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 a picosecond. 
Am I understanding warp warp. that lore right? They 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 warp through actually the warp, not the webway. You learn something new every day. These stinky Gretchens. Here they are. And the Harlequin is great when it's not being focused by war trucks. I think the war truck gun damage needs to be nerfed. I don't think transport should be that deadly. Uh, the Sisters of Battle Rhino with its 800 damage, 1000% accuracy bolter turret on the top. I think that also needs to get put in the garbage can. I don't know what the heck Relic was thinking when this game came out many, many moons ago or Iron Forge or whoever. I don't think transport should be this oppressive. Maybe a tickle. Uh, maybe, you know, like the Space Marines Rhino with uh, smoke launchers. Smoke, like, you know, that, that's something different. You know, maybe the orcs can do some kind of, like, speedy reinforce button. Maybe they reinforce at a discount while it's happening. Um, I like the Guardians build, Mr. Q-Bob. I don't think you had enough Warlocks. That's my personal opinion. Uh, but there was also no pressure. Triple Guardians, there was there was nothing to stop the orc from just freely ecoing here. This was the only soft target, and I don't think he was going to get that with the Guardians. I'm not sure. I, again, I, I seeing mass Dark Reapers makes me ill uh, playing Eldar and watching Eldar games, so it's refreshing. Obviously, everybody wants to win all the time, and that's not fun to lose. I, I'm just trying to envision a way that works. Maybe the first Guardian Squad runs out, caps the Relic, and then goes right across and harasses here with the Farseer in behind, and then the other Guardians back up or link back up. I think if you're going to go for that triple Guardian, you need to go harass immediately. Um... And then at that point, the question is, why not just build Dark Reapers? Um, and that's a great question, but they don't get grenades. They're a little more expensive. And again, he he needed a Warlock, I think. If you're going to go Triple Guardians, I think you need to get the Warlock. I, I think that's the key. It slows you tier two, but, you know, maybe you get a, rate, a worker up here and Wraith to a building, and now you've got Guardians here. You could do something, you know, pick some Sluggas. That, that Big Mac almost died. If that third Guardian squad was here, that battle would have been done. And then I think this gets cleaned up. The orc can't cleanly tech into tier 2. He has to come over here. Second HQ comes out as well. Crazy orc ego. Um, you know, kill kill the big mechs with your triple guardians and then disperse. You've got fleet of foot at the Eldar. You know, come back and cap the crit locations. Uh, I don't think... I think at one point he tried capping mid. I, it's just it's not enough. It's not enough. And I don't think Dark Reapers are it. I don't know if Banshee... I mean, Banshees are never it, which is such a shame. They're such a great, cool unit. You know, they're screaming and going nutty. You know how it is. Anyway, the KD looks pretty close. Resources, the orc was just exploding with wreck. Uh, Eldar had some power, which is nice. And, uh, so yeah, that was I, Unseen Strike. It's great to be back. If anybody's still looking or, or looking for the community, go on the Discord, uh, the link down below. You will see the Discord. God, I can't speak. That's how excited I am to cast some more games. Anyway, um, yeah, the link down below to the Discord is in the link of this video. Uh, keep an eye out. I'd like everybody in the comments Put your favorite and or looking for a game and we'll keep it going Let's see what kind of matches you want to see you want to see 4v4s 1v1s. I don't have any fancy months coming up the month of Wa is Four and a quarter months away, so we got plenty of time. We can maybe wing something else up uh, The work at Christmas failed, but that's because the orcs suck Blech. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Let's see strike out